So what's the difference between short circuit protection and overload protection? Now this is a great question since it can be common for people to misuse the term short circuit to describe any electrical malfunction regardless of the actual problem. Now both short circuit and overload protection devices are going to protect your motor circuit from overcurrent. Overcurrent or excess current is a situation where a larger than intended electric current exists, which leads to excessive generation of heat and the risk of fire or damage to the equipment. So you want to make sure you're protected for a number of reasons. First and foremost is safety. Work-related injuries are costly to everyone, not only financially, but in the way an injury can affect almost every aspect of a worker's life. A safe workplace not only protects workers from injury, it can also increase productivity and quality. And that means saving time. Ensuring you have the proper protection in place can prevent downtime and maintenance, and as a result, save you money. So let's dive into the differences between short circuit versus overload protection. Overload protection is a protection against a running overcurrent that would cause overheating. Overload protection typically operates on an inverse time curve where the tripping time becomes less as the current increases. This means an overload relay isn't going to trip on momentary or short-term overcurrent events that are normal for the piece of equipment it is protecting. For example, some equipment may create inrush currents as it starts up. These inrush currents typically last only a few seconds and rarely cause a problem. So overload relays are used in a motor circuit to protect motors from damage caused by prolonged periods of overcurrent. Now on the other hand, we have short circuit protection. A short circuit occurs when current travels along an unintended path, often where essentially no or a very low electrical impedance is encountered. So short circuit protection is protection against excessive currents or current beyond the acceptable current rating of equipment, and it operates instantly. As soon as an overcurrent is detected, the device trips and breaks the circuit. So let's sum up. Overload protection breaks a circuit only after a prolonged period of overcurrent. Short circuit protection breaks a circuit the instant an overcurrent is detected. If you'd like to learn more about this or many other topics, visit us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube, or as always, at ecoonline.com.